Welcome to another quick review from Ultimate DIYer, and today we're going to be talking about laser levels, specifically the Sudsby laser level, which is a green laser level that you can use indoors or outdoors. It's an awesome laser level, but there are a few issues if you look at reviews online. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at those little issues and I'm going to address those and you can decide for yourself, is this a laser level that you want or is this one that you need to pass on? So stay tuned. Let's take a close look at what all you get and how it works. All right, guys, first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna start out by opening up the box. I have already opened it, and the main reason I opened it was to get the battery out, which plugs in this way here with the little charger, and charge it. The instructions are gonna tell you you need to charge this battery for about 10 hours before you use it the first time because it is going to make the thing last much longer. You always, the very first time you use a battery, fully charge it and fully discharge it before you charge it again. Let's open this thing up and see what you get. So when you open it up, it's going to have a container like this. Now I use a lot of these laser levels like this one right here. Love this laser. This laser level is very much like this one. But instead of the hard plastic case, you're going to have a foam case like this that you're going to carry. It has a really nice handle feels good. You can feel the cushion in it. So if it gets thrown around, which I would not suggest throwing around a laser level, they are a delicate instrument. But if it accidentally happens, at least you've got some protection. So let's see what's inside. So I'm going to open it up. Like I said, I've already taken one of the batteries out because you're going to get two and the charger just so that I can demonstrate this for you today. So when you open it up, you're going to have a little instruction manual like this right here. And it's going to walk you through, and there is some good information on here. It's even going to walk you through how to calibrate, make sure how accurate your machine is. And I'm going to show you an easy way to do that where you don't really have to go by this. You can just simply use a level, and I'm going to, I'll show you that in a minute. So we've got that. Now, when you open this kit up, I'm going to be very transparent. This is my second kit. I bought two kits, and this is where some of the comments and things that I have seen online about this unit. And let me move this out of the way. This is where I see some of the problems online with the comments. One of the major comments that I think has thrown a lot of people off is someone posted a picture of this unit originally that had some different parts in it. That is an older picture with an older unit. It even confused me, and I thought I was missing parts, and I sent my first one back, and then I ended up getting the exact same thing back, and I'm like, okay, well, something's wrong, and I spent some time with it, and I figured out where some of those problems are. So do not go by those pictures if you see those in comments, because that is not the same up-to-date unit that you've got here. So let's go through what you do get. Instruction manual. You are going to get the actual unit itself, which is this. This is it right here. You're going to have a battery, a charger, another battery. This is called a micro adjuster. You're going to mount the unit on top of here and you can turn the button and turn this slightly. And what it does is it rotates. You can adjust these legs up or down to get it exactly level. Very cool little part here. You're going to have a tray which is this one right here, and it has an adjustment screw here, which will raise up and down, and you can actually adjust and make this thing work. Actually, if I do it like this, you can kind of see. It goes counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Clockwise closes it, but you can adjust and set this for small things if you're on the floor. Now, say you are trying to do something in a bathroom, or you're doing something in a construction site. You have this wall mount. Now this wall mount is very cool. It's going to have three different knobs. One knob will turn the top disc like this. One knob moves this whole plate in or out. And this bottom one will actually, just like that, I don't know if you can see that, it tilts. So you have a tilt, you have the disc go in and out, and you have the disc rotate. Very cool instrument. Now, 
If you're reading your description on this unit, the description says that it is magnetic. This unit itself is not magnetic. It is going to be the holder and you have magnets right here. It comes with this plate. If you are working on say a steel building or steel construction, commercial construction, you will be able to stick this directly to metal and it's gonna stick. But they give you this plate because if you are working on wood construction, you can actually take a two before or something and put a little screw or two in here to hold this. And now you can mount this up on the wall. All right, very cool. One last thing that, or actually there's two last things that it really comes with. This is one of the parts where everybody gets confused and this is an adapter for your tripod. But what it is, is you've got the quarter inch and then you have the larger adapter. So if you have the larger, older style tripod that has the big fitting on it, this will adapt to that. That's what this is for. That does not make it necessarily fit to your tripod. And I'm gonna show you how to mount it to your tripod in a second. The other thing that you're gonna have is a remote. And this remote works very well. I used this one, works great. The one that I got with the original kit worked just as well. So they do work. A lot of these units I have ordered in the past and got the remotes are pretty much worthless and they don't really do anything. This one works. Everything in this kit, by the way, works. So I'm going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to address a couple of the other issues that online uh, comments have made on this unit. One is that you did not get the full kit. Like I said in the beginning, you're missing a couple of plates and people look at this and they think, oh man, I'm missing plates to mount this to my tripod. They look at the top and there's a mounting hole here and that's what you see on most units. Like if you look at it, this one has a special mounting place on the plastic. It's very obvious, very visible. But if you look at this unit, it has a metal plate. The trick is right here, and I'm gonna hold it out so that maybe you can see it, but that is your mounting spot in this metal plate. And I will be totally 100% honest. My first one, I did not look close enough and I did not see that little mounting plate. So I, th and by reading other comments and other reviews, I thought there was supposed to be a plate that this piece mounted to so that it would be able to mount to my tripod but that was incorrect. This is your mounting spot. So if you take a tripod like this one right here, you are going to have your mounting plate and I'm going to show you how this works. It's very simple. You take the plate and now I just screw the plate into the little hole right here, just like this and turn it. Just like that. Now it is ready to mount. And all I have to do now is put it here. And now I am mounted on a tripod. I can use move my legs up and down. I can crank the little lever and move it this way. I have tons of adjustment. I can go diagonal. I can do whatever I need to do on a tripod. The same mounting hole is the same mounting hole you are going to use on your wall mount and your little micro adjustment as well. So, the, you, these are the only parts you need to make this system work. I move this back so it's not right in my face. But those are the only parts that you need to make the system work. So disregard the pictures that you may see in the other comments showing what the old units have. You do not need the other little plates. This is all that you need. So at this point, let me explain to you basically how this works. So you are going to take your battery and your battery is just simply going to slide in right here. And it just, it, you'll see it's got little slide areas. There's no way you can get that backwards. It's only going to go one way and it'll make a little clipping noise when you actually have it inserted. To turn the unit on, it is going to be back here with this button. Now, let me explain a few of the things though that this unit can do before, I'll sh before I show you the actual functioning of it. Now, I did make a few notes here just to make sure that I did not miss anything, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a three window unit. This is a window, this is a window. When you first get it, you may be looking at it and say, hey, I got gypped, I have two windows. You have a third, it is always gonna be underneath the bottom here. So when you turn it on, you will have a laser shoot from here here and here. And actually that's not even correct. You have four lasers in each window. 
So you have a total of 12 lasers that shoot out of this. You're going to have two verticals. You're going to have one horizontal. That's your big lines, which go in 360 degrees, but you have four lasers making each one of those. So in other words, when my horizontal goes 360 degrees, there are four lasers completing that 360 degrees. When I have a vertical line going in 360 degrees vertical, I have four lasers completing that 360 degrees, and this unit has two of those. So you have two vertical, one horizontal. So in the U.S., this is going to work all the way from 23 degrees Fahrenheit up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So the operating range of this unit is going to be 25 meters or 82 feet, and it's accurate to 0.2 millimeters. All right, guys, so I've already showed you how to put the battery in. I've shown you where the on and off switch is. It's right here on the back, just like this. Now, I want to talk first about the auto level. Auto level on this means that as long as you are with a, a three inch incline, so if it's not inclined more than three inches like this, it is going to auto level for you. If you get more than that, it's going to keep beeping until you can try to level your tripod with the legs or what have you, or wherever you have this mounted, you're going to have to level it to get it within that three inches, and then it will self level itself at that point. So there is also going to be something that is called manual level. And manual level, where you're going to do that is say I'm putting tile on this wall and I want a cut, a diagonal cut on my tile. I can literally tilt this unit. If I loosen this right here, get it loose. I can tilt this unit like that and it's going to shoot a diagonal line. Let me see if I can show you right here. And then I can follow that line. Now, what's annoying about that is that beeping noise that you hear. There is an orange button right in the center. All you have to do is push that down and hold it for three seconds, and it stops. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to set this exactly the way that I want it to get the diagonal line that I want. And now I can go in here and use that line and set my tiles and have a diagonal line. Those are, that's just one of the reasons that you may want to go to manual. So now if I want to go back to the auto level mode, I'm going to do the same thing. Push it, and there we go. And now if I get out of level, I'm beeping again. So that is a really cool function right there. Now you're going to have two other buttons, and let me turn this. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off for a second, turn it, and I'm going to show you. So the button that I was pushing to make that happen, to make it go from manual to auto, is right in the center, right here. That one can also be pushed again, and it gives you a pulsating line. And that helps a lot if you're outside, visibility is not good, and you're trying to maybe maximize your distance. You can pulsate, which works really well, and you even have some glasses you can pick up that'll help that become more visible for you. The other buttons you, that you're going to have on here, though, are going to be vertical and horizontal. And all that's going to do is turn on your horizontal line, your vertical line this way, or you'll hit it again and it'll turn it on twice. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can turn this on and see if you can see right here. Let's see. I'm going to move it this way so I can try to make sure that you are seeing the lines. Right now, we are, when you first started, you were always going to be in a horizontal line. If I push my horizontal again, it's going to go off. And actually, I need to move this down just a little. So it's going to go off. Push it again, the H, it's going to come on. If I push the vertical, I'm going to get that one vertical line, and actually it's going the opposite direction. So you're probably not able to see that. Let me turn so that you can see there's a vertical. Here's your vertical line here. If I push it again, the same V, I have now a second line, and you can maybe see it over here. So I have one vertical line here, and I have one vertical line here. Now, this is also where the little remote comes in. I told you it works. So I can do the out, which is the bottom. You have three buttons. Do the out, it right there. When you do the out, it does the flashing. This is the flashing I was talking about that gives you a little bit more range and visibility. That goes back to steady. 
Now I can go to my horizontal line. If I push this H, it should literally shut that off. Boom, gone. And now my vertical, I just shut that one off. And there we go, turn it back on. There's vertical, I got my vertical back here. Got the vertical back there. Now I have them both, so they are both shooting. So I don't think you can, well, you can see one here, yeah, and you can see it here. So you can see those. So the remote does work very well. So let's turn off the unit for a second. And what I want to show you here, this is one of my tried and true lasers that I use all the time. So what I'm going to do is turn this one on so that maybe you can see. I'm going to get a horizontal line. Let's do that right here. We're going to turn it back on. I'm going to put it on horizontal right there. So now you have your horizontal. Now I'm going to turn on this unit right here. Let's see. There we go. And I'm going to try to hold this one. And if you look, this is a very good laser, but my line is not near as strong on this one as it is this unit here. This unit has a very bright light. I mean, I like this laser. This is also a three window laser, does the exact same thing as this one. But this one is a, I think, honestly, a little bit better laser. Even though they're both very capable, I love the brightness of the line. I love the 360. I love the way it's set up. And by the way, what I would use this laser the most for is probably tile work, brick work, handyman jobs and things like that, or DIY jobs around the house. If I have a picture, I'm going to shoot a vertical line, shoot a horizontal line, use my tripod, get it to the right height, and I will know exactly where my vertical and horizontal is going to be by a laser and it will be perfect every time. So those are just a few of the things. There's many, many things that you can use the laser for. So I wanted to address one other comment that I saw from a couple of, actually probably twice. And it was where, you know, people were actually claiming it's a great laser, works fantastic, but it is only a DIY laser, really wouldn't work good for a professional. I have to disagree with that because I am a professional. I love these green lasers. They work fantastic. I have never had a problem with them. Set up quickly, carry around easily in their little bags. I think they are a fantastic home DIY pro laser. I think they do it all. So if I was going to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it... I would give it a 9, and the only reason I would give it a 9 is because the instructions were not very clear on how to use it, and people were confused and sending back the units because they thought they were missing pieces and that there was something wrong, when actually the unit itself works very well. And if you look closely, you really have everything you need to make this unit work right. So after this review, you should be able to give this unit a 10 and not a 9. So hope this helps. We will see you guys on the next review.